Hi everyone, our last book today for Wednesday Club is another book in the Little Spot series called A Little Thankful Spot. I'm really enjoying these books as they have really great morals and ideas for people and I think that's pretty great. So we have permission by the uh, author and illustrator Diane Albert to read this book today. It's called A Little Thankful Spot. Hi, my name is Spot, and I'm not just any ordinary Spot, I'm a little thankful Spot. Do you know that writing down all the things that you are thankful for can actually make you happier? We have been making this thankful list for a while now. Wow, that's a long list. See how long it is? Well, that's a pretty serious list. When you are thankful, you are happy with what you have and experience. You don't compare yourself to others. When you write down all that you are thankful for, it helps you focus on the positive things in your life. I'm going to share my list, and maybe it will inspire you to create your own list. So, here it goes. I am thankful for playing in the park and sliding down the slide, nature and the cool shade of a tree, cozy slippers, hats to keep my head warm, Sandals to keep my feet cool. Rain boots so I can splash in puddles. Umbrellas so I can enjoy the rain without getting wet. Snowmen in winter and flowers in spring. The nice warm sun. Yummy ice pops and ice cream. The refreshing pool on a hot summer day. Being able to show sadness so people know when to help having confidence to try new things, feeling anger so I can become passionate about a cause or to stand up for what's right, feeling anxiety to warn me if I'm about to do something dangerous, being able to love and being able to find my peaceful spot, beautiful rainbows, the earth, planets, moon, and stars, my amazing friends, Parties to celebrate something special. Delicious cake, colorful balloons, my big happy family. I'm a little respectful spot. I'm a little spot of kindness. I'm a little spot of responsibility. I'm a little spot of courage. I'm a little spot of patience. And I'm a little spot of honesty. Schools for providing a place to learn and play and have fun. Teachers who show kids they can learn anything. Community helpers who keep us safe and well. Libraries for providing a quiet place to read. Books to give people a chance to go on an adventure in their mind. Yeah, it's probably my favorite page. <laughs> School supplies. Reading because it's great to hear stories. Paper airplanes because I want to see how far they can fly. Music, because I enjoy playing and listening to it. My pet fish, Tommy. Dressing up, because it's fun to pretend. Courage to stand up and perform on stage. Time and the ability to be patient. A cardboard box, and all the creative things I can do with it. Look at that, Maybe like a robot or something, right? Clean water, light so I can see when it's dark. It's pretty important. It gets dark pretty early around here sometimes, hey? Crayons to scribble, paint to splatter, art and the ability to paint, to create, sorry. Rocks because it's fun to stack them all in a pile. Scribble stones because they spread happiness when you paint them. Have you ever been to the tier point to see those painted rocks? They are pretty cool. Toothbrushes so my teeth can be get cleaned. Nutritious food, paper to make thankful lists. Tissues to help my nose when it has sniffles. Signs to help us stay safe. Sleep. I like that one. <laughs> Phew. Are you inspired yet? Now it's your turn. What are you thankful for? Do you think you can write something you are thankful for every day? Make a bigger list than me? The end. Thanks, everyone.